this video is going to show you how to line this for any of you that go out and take walks or do something after you've had any sort of that neck surgery and you're stuck in one of these collars for a while you know that you're only sent like two you get one backup of these things and if they get sweaty you wash them then they get knobby and trust me we've looked into buying more they're not cheap but chamois cloths are and I'm going to show you how to do this in a minute but um, let me show you how to actually put this on because this is so stylish if you would hold these for me and let's go ahead and show how we actually install or whatever you want to call it put one on okay the back one is this one no nope, you're good that and that and so I take the back off and you're actually going to just slide it in there and then lay that back piece back on and I'm going to show you how I cut this so that it actually has this little bit of overlay all right then I take this one off I lay it down Remember how you take the sides? He's going to have this one and hold this one, still looking straight ahead. That keeps that back part from falling off and gives me time to put the front one on. So the front one goes on here. And then the other one is going to go right up here. And then we're going to slide all this in. And I know it looks like a hassle to do all this, but now he's ready to go for his walk, and that really needs to be tightened up, but I'm not going to because he's already taken his walk today. But um, yeah, this would actually go in tighter because you know this piece has to go in at the chin. But um, So anyway, that's how you do that. And then when he comes back from the walk, we take this off, we slide this up and out, then we lift this, slide the bottom one out, right there, you got it. And then this goes right back on. And we have found that the longer he wears this, it has started getting a little snugger. And part of that, I think, is because um, the swelling has gone down. Looser. And the whole thing, yes, loosens, not tightens. Because the, um, the whole thing just kind of seems to stretch over time. So now then, I am going to take you over to the table. So don't mind me as we get a little bobbly. Um, I'm afraid if I try to pause, I will accidentally cut you off. Um, thank you for that. Um, for these handy chamois. These are actually from the Dollar Tree. Just open it up, lay it out, Put your original pieces on here and trace around them. Now, you can cram all this onto one chamois. The only problem is you don't have that overlap that I showed you just a while ago. So go ahead and use two chamois, but trace around, cut them out. You end up with these and then slide them in like we just showed you. Now, I would not dry these in the dryer, wash them by hand, drip them dry. Um, chamois are notorious, very notorious for drying up, just shrinking up in the dryer. So again, um, and I keep these on hand all the time for all sorts of just crafts and things around the house. Any spill on the carpet, get it damp, wring it out really good, and it's gonna soak up the moisture. It, like a sponge, will work better if it's already wet, if you're going to so soak up moisture. If it's in the um, actual neck piece, the surgical um, collar, then no, don't wet it first because the whole idea is to keep this dry. So anyway, hope this helps someone and uh, good luck on your recovery. Hope everybody that has this done, hope it works for you. Um, our doctor, that was Dr. Caterini, uh, I think it's Jeffrey Caterini, and works out of um, the Plano, Frisco area. 
Highly recommended. All right. Thanks, and y'all have a good one.